Welcome to another video. I bought a wreck trailer. What I go and do that for? Well, I needed a car hauler to build the solar trailer. Yes, this is the beginnings of the solar trailer. So why a wreck trailer? Well, because it was a lot less expensive than a not wreck trailer. Trailers like this, I mean, you luck out sometimes and get them for like 2,500 bucks, but typically they're, they're up to like 5,000, you know, 3,500, 4,000, somewhere in there for a trailer like this. So I got it for 760 plus a day of driving and about $100 in diesel couple hours of really sweating to put it on there. And the guy that sold it to me, absolute legend. Boy, we busted butt and got it up there. And it was, it was a job. So my plan for this trailer is actually to turn it into more than one trailer. So we have two 3,500 pound axles that are pretty much toast on that side and all good on this side. Good tires. So I have like a good axle because I can cut the axle and cut the other axle and weld them together and have a good axle because it's only the one sides that are messed up, right? Okay, so then you see over here, this part here, it is the tongue part on the and here it's bent and it's bent over there so that whole thing has to come off right well that's gonna be uh you know i cut out the i think this is okay i'm not 100 percent. it might be messed up but regardless there's some good steel here there's some good steel here i cut all that off with those axles i'm gonna have majority of another one of those trailers IBC hauler so I'll get this IBC hauler for very little extra money and hopefully this isn't trashed now that leaves me this deck here now I gotta go around and cut everything off of it all these come off all these come off the reason I'm taking it down so far like all that comes off right is because I'm increasing this trailer to 14K. So what I'm going to do, I see people put bigger axles on trailers, but I don't ever see anybody. Well, that's not true. I saw one guy. He had a he put a little bit of work in increasing the quality of the trailer. So doubling the capacity of the trailer is the is the goal because not only is it a hauler but it's also the solar trailer this is the solar trailer so there's going to be a rack up above this that box is going to be out on the tongue solar panels on the top and all kinds of bells and whistles lights sound internet wi-fi like you name it this trailer is gonna have it right so i have to strip everything off the trailer and you can see it's crooked it's like it got wrecked right it's not that big a deal it's all angle iron so once i get everything cut off of it then i'm going to use this trailer to straighten it so i'm going to just take everything off of it chains and jacks and winches and everything I need so I'll straighten this okay so now once it's straight I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna put another box so probably like whatever that size and probably about out to there a box steel and that'll be my new frame, okay? I'm gonna run some E track and wood. I'm gonna cover that center up 
up so it'll be enclosed. Probably just leave all the metal in the same. Unless I can't strain it out, I might have to do something different. It's a little bent up here, but it should straighten out. So, I'm probably gonna get rid of these ramps because I'm going to mount the trailer in a. I'm gonna put the axle underneath the springs. So, the trailer's gonna sit higher. And uh, these ramps are kind of jacked from the wreck anyway. And so that's one of the things I'm kind of up in the air on still, on how I'm gonna do the ramps. It's either make some new ones that go in there longer and better, that go in like that. That's one option. Another option is to actually put ramps here on a hinge that have the stabilization jacks built right into the ramp. So when the ramp folds down, it touches the ground here and it goes down out to there. And that's how, when you put weight on here, and I don't know how this trailer doesn't have any stabilization jacks. Maybe it's just because the, these are so far back. I don't know. So that's one, or there's two options now. And then, well, I guess if I put the ramps underneath, then I might put electric stabilization jacks on the corners. Might. Although I don't know if they have to be on the corner, I just have to put them here somewhere just to hold the tail up while whatever is being loaded, right? So there's going to actually be solar panels that stick. This, the new tongue will be, will be longer a little bit because of putting that thing on the tongue. I want there to be plenty of room to, to maneuver with that on there. So then going up, I'm actually going to put the, the solar panels. One panel this side and then three panels back and then behind that there's going to be a roof rack with expanded steel all around in there to throw stuff in right if you like riding like electric dirt bike bike style things like surrons right like this would be the trailer like you get this trailer and you can go out someplace zip around come back and charge your Suron <laughs> from this trailer right that's the concept the solar trailer build has begun but I might actually build the other trailer first because it's not gonna take me that long I gotta pull all this stuff off and then it's gonna be in my way <laughs> so I, I pretty much need to deal with it so I might as well build that trailer first and get it up for sale because that's exactly what I'm just going to build this little IBC hauler just to sell. I don't need to. I'm actually planning on building another trailer that'll be a dually that will hold two IBCs because I built that to be a firefighting trailer, but it's too unstable to take on and off of the hitch when it's full. So it's just too dangerous. You can't like. I can't just leave it there full. I'd have to do a ton of work. So I'm gonna build another one for firefighting. But then what I was thinking is, before I, cause I'm building this to sell. I don't need a solar powered trailer. I need a car hauler, but I don't need a solar powered trailer. And this is how I'm gonna sell that thing and a bunch of other stuff I have that is just a pain in the butt to sell that'll make the coolest trailer ever. And then I'll buy another car hauler and just have a plain old car hauler so I can get to the shop to tow my, put this on the car hauler, tow that, drop it off the shop, or drop vice versa. You know, that's better than taking cabs, right? But while I have this, I could literally, if once it's finished, I could put two IBC tanks just on there and all the pumps and everything, and this could be a firefighting trailer as well. 
I mean, they just slap a couple tanks on there and the, and the pump, plumb it all up, and, you know, it's, it's probably a little bigger than you'd want. I mean, yeah, it's a lot bigger than you want. I mean, you'd basically want something like, from like here, like here, maybe. Just two tanks, that's it. But if you have a trailer like this and you do need to worry about fire, throw some tanks on it if you don't use it all the time. I mean, it'd make a great little firefighting trailer. So this is, uh, yeah, I have to wire everything. And honestly, it's worse than I thought it was from the pictures. So, but what are you gonna do? I mean, it's just a little extra work to make it straight. And then, oh yeah, the savings. All right, this is just part one. Subscribe and like. Follow this build. Peace. Thank you for watching my video.